through many mocks, spaceships, and much more here at James Lingham Studio. We are inspiring all, one brick at a time, to build more epic Lego mocks. Welcome back to James Lego Studio. Jordan here with a kinetic sculpture using the Series 20 Collectible Minifigure Series Viking Minifigure. This mock was made for a build challenge in Wislug, my Lego user group. The challenge being a 10x10 10 10 vignette and the use of any collectible minifigure in any series. Now I built the Vikings boat and I am pleased how it has turned out so far and I am especially pleased with the scale and how the curves turned out. So, I used the Mandalorian Battle Pack Cape as a sail, and the Viking Shield as the insignias of the Vikings Clan on both sides of the boat. I do stick out a little bit farther than I want, but if I collect them in between there, they keep falling out, unfortunately. So, I stuck them on some dark bluish gray clips instead, which still looks pretty good. So, using many snot techniques and bars, I made the hull of the boat. It was ending up being complicated, but it ended up being a nice structure. And the boat is attached with a clear bar. You can barely see it in between the splashes of the boat going up and down in the waves. As the story for this mock is the boat and the Viking are battling the high seas in this crashing waves scenario. I am really pleased I was able to get this mechanism to work below. It's a simple lever. So, you're wondering how I got the water to actually do that. Well, if you look closely, I'm actually using a net piece underneath which makes all of this flexible. So, also taking advantage of that flexibility, on the bottom turntable, I have made it very easy to make different scenes, making different kinetic sculptures. So as you can see the boat turning, which means I'm gonna also get different wave patterns as the bar and the lever below are hitting a different area which gives it a slightly different waveform. And the boat actually is turned. I can move that way. I can move back the other way. And if I wanted to, I can leave it statically in different poses. As you can see here, the boat has jumped up as it hit a big wave. And as it's coming down, the middle translate blue explosion pieces simulate the splash of the boat. So, I lastly would like to touch on the side detail, being these light bluish gray walls, meaning I wanted to represent stonework, and the middle round detail is meant to represent the stone steering wheel that's carved into it. So, this has been Jordan from Jams Lego Studio. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe for more awesome Lego content. This is Mock. It was a very fun one to make.